fitness freaks it's your favorite fitness girl fitness freak and with me here is jay of personally jay.wordpress.com jay is here today to basically talk to us about um some of the challenges with trying to gain weight jay so tell us a bit about yourself who am i <laughs> the million dollar question <laughs> For now, I'm a research personnel and communications officer. I work freelance with NGO. Please hire me. Okay. I work freelance hire with NGO. You have an NGO. <laughs> She's a research expert. I have a blog. I like to write, mostly creative writing yeah. and stuff. So I like to write. And I'll leave a link of your blog in the description that so you can awesome. check out her blog. She's Thank a great God. writer. Oh God. I'm calling. <laughs> I want to talk about. Something that I feel that alien to a lot of people when you hear someone is trying to add weight, and you're like, Are you serious? Why are you trying to do add people weight? People really do it's that. Tell us a bit about your weight gain journey. Sounds so strange to me because I'm, I'm used to weight loss journey. I think for me, let me remove these glasses because I'm wearing lashes. I want to pop. <laughs> pop. I've always really liked my size. I think I stopped. I stopped. I started having an issue with my size in 2000. And 14 or 13 after university and I realized I have really lost weight. I was underweight then. I was like 18 or something when you check your, um, what do you call that? BMI. BMI. Yeah. BMI. So Body you were like mass. at the lower range. Yeah, That's I was underweight. like underweight. Meanwhile, Jay and I went to uni together and I know that right from time, Jay, your weight has never gone above. No, it's, it's, it's like between the 48, if I'm at 48, I am fine. Even at 47, I am fine. Okay, so it's but ideal. I have high. gone as low as 43 and that was madness. Wow. I was weighing, I was weighing that low and I was like, what are you doing there? What's happening? I have to do something about it. <laughs> and it's not just about my weight. I was the endowment we are all going, the breast was going down, the hips was going down. <laughs> like if I show you my first year pictures, like, like remember the time I posted? <laughs> yes, I yeah, like, yeah, you were this, this you yes. see on the weight, something is wrong with your health. Yeah. It can tell it, it can do a lot about it, with your confidence. So mm -hmm. I really had to start, you know, putting the effort to make sure that I maintain a certain weight. Exactly. After you came to the realization that okay, your weight was way below what it should be. What are the methods or what are the things that you did that now made you to kind of add the weight back? I started eating. Oh. <laughs> yes. Magic formula. <laughs> I start eating. I start paying attention to the things I eat. I start eating more. Have to start eating more breakfast. Like when I eat breakfast, um, Maybe around eight, I'll try to eat again by twelve. By maybe two, I am eating again. There may be small, small bits, but I, I just kept on trying. So it was to... a very conscious. Oh my god, it was very conscious. How? <laughs> it was very conscious. At the point, I had to keep an alarm or have things in my bag. I always buy. Uh, yes, I have really? things in my bag. Wait, so you I had an alarm. Yeah, I have to. I have. Okay. I have an alarm. Okay. It's okay. anybody <laughs> struggling to get with. You need to hear this right now. It's something what? for me. What works to us eating yeah. honestly there is not there is no magic there's no it. magic Jane, considering the fact that you made so much conscious effort to eat mm -hmm. and you ate and ate and ate how come you still look fit because you know sometimes there's a thin <laughs> line between eating and overeating you can tell i look fit from this angle yes i can tell <laughs> i i do exercise yeah once in a while not like all the time or every day but i try my best like three times yes and week. jay is a very committed <laughs> member of the fitness fit yes, community so, yes, so, so shout out to other she, members she inspires me she inspires me oh, like oh that's, she caught me doing the what was that plan plan yes she was doing very, plank very, i can go day. for two minutes if you want to challenge me whoa yeah hola. it's a challenge it's all do you want to plank <laughs> with Jay? Because sometimes my work requires that more fuel so i go from one destination to the other and purposely them don't take transportation just to walk hey in the name of keeping feet at least it's in my <laughs> head let me say the story of that day you took me to the gym that day we were i don't know how many well whether that was enough to one kilometer that we ran and i was i almost passed out it felt like i was <laughs> this is it for me but mm. i made it. and this was just us running to the gym running to the gym oh i don't even understand you. why are you people running to the gym <laughs> it did not make sense warm up 
I think for the rest of how many hours we spent in that gym, I was active. Yeah. Like yeah. I got myself. I actually did I saw, it to you. So that workout Even was... did some leg raises. That one you were suspended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And... Like I had mad fun that day at the gym. Mm -hmm. But it ended up being fun. So why I'm mentioning this is because in my head, I thought I was fit. Yeah. Whatever I was doing wasn't enough and I found out that day. So after then, I tried doing other things. So your question, are my feet? I can be better, let me okay. be honest. Now, with all your weight gain experience, please tell us what advice do you have for people who want to start like a weight gain journey? First of all, I'll have to say, don't listen to all the people that will tell you. Don't why are you trying to gain weight? <laughs> if you feel in you as in health wise or whatever that you need to put on some weight, by all means, please, please. go ahead and say eat. Protein does it for me. Eat, eat food eat. are high in protein. Protein helps to build on muscles and it just helps to form the bulk that would make you look fleshy. Yes. Yes. Energy dense meal. Yes. For exercise I should you should weight lift. Weight lifting. Go all in into weight lifting. It's all in build that muscle. It's I actually know food. someone who was slim before mm -hmm. and she still lifting weights mm -hmm. and I was shocked when I saw that she had so much flesh exactly. on. Calories, you should increase your calories. Extra 700 for if you want to add weight fast. Okay, like extra 700 per calories. day, yeah. yeah then day. for the... Um, taking it taking easy. Taking it easy, 300, 400. I, I don't know if everyone is like me that is very picky with this food, but what I do is try to find creative ways don't like eggs but i try to find a lot of ways to make it edible make your own food yourself and spice them well. i realized that eating with a fork i take smaller portion like into my mouth so by the time i'm, I'm already bored i'm already tired i decided to start using spoon spoon will take so you bigger, pack more yeah, we'll pack and you now eat for a and shorter I'm, time, I'm for a shorter time. Like, don't drink water before eating, so my stomach was space to mm -hmm. carry everything. All everything the carbs when I'm done eating, I try to reward. You no know, people reward themselves with meat, and so I know I love meat here, but I, I reward myself with food. I'm thinking, ah, there's smooth in the fridge, and you can make it. Yeah. You should pick a healthier reward mm -hmm. so that it's not bad for you because you're in trying long to, run. you know, mm -hmm. um, gain weight. Something you like, something you, something like, you yeah. enjoy, something whatever it is. Fact, you make enjoy, reward your yourself. Own. It is better. I keep it at the end or have a bigger chunk somewhere mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you get to. Just give yourself such goals to help you. If we keep talking about this, it's more, it's more. People can come here and slap us. But it's a thing. It's an actual thing. <laughs> no, it is. It's I mean, thing. if you know, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm very empathic towards anybody struggling to gain weight. And I hope you get like a few things from this video. So, any last words for mm -hmm. anyone struggling with weight gain? Well, for those, let me, this was not necessary for those struggling with it, but for those that do not understand their struggle, let me just say, research found out that being underweight can impair your immune system. You can open yourself up to risks of infection because you're underweight and have infertility issues. So it's an actual thing. So uh, that we laugh about it or body shapes or that skinny and you don't know what they're going through. It's, um, it can really be um, a life threatening issue. Let's be more sensitive to anyone struggling to gain weight. So please, if you got value from this video and if you like what Jay has shared with us today, smash the like button. And Thank you so much, Jay, for being with us here today from the Fitness Free community. We all say thank you. And thank um, you. don't forget to check out her blog. Um, I'll link it up in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.